how do law firms get a better rep for innovation? <laughs> okay, so, um, well, one thing that was quite interesting is your role is CSO, which is Chief Strategy Officer. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. But, but yes, yeah. Um, and <clears throat> this is, I've seen more and more firms both announcing and discussing how they're now investing in innovation through you know, a, a role or a group of people actually tasked with doing that rather than it just being seen as part of the IT team, right. which I think is, is, is quite an interesting shift there. Um, I think law firms are generally do have a bit of a reputation of not being very innovative, which I do think is a bit unfair. Um, however, I think there are um, a number of issues in taking innovation forward within a law firm, which is possibly why some firms um, are being innovative in innovation in, you know, actually putting people there uh, to do that. I, um, I don't claim this paper to be mine, but there are, you said to me, Chris, give me the top three things that kill innovation. I've actually got ten, but I'll be here all <laughs> day. But, um, <coughs> So yeah, I, so the break. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, but I've picked the three that I think is where law firms need to have a massive, massive uh, shift of behaviour be before they will be seen as embracing innovation. So one is, oh, we tried that before and it didn't work. Therefore, there's no point trying that again. You know, it's, um, it didn't work to exactly as I expected it to and I wanted it to. Therefore, we, it didn't work. We won't do that again. Um, Another one, I'm not prepared to try this unless you can guarantee it will work. And there is a real, it's inherent, I think, in, in lawyers to be, seek perfection and be right. And that by the very nature of that, there's a reluctance to fail. And I, you know, it would be no surprise that <coughs> all the innovators, you know, the, the global innovators in the world have failed. For every great thing they've done, there were probably 10 failures. But they, they, they carried on and they got there in the end. Generally, I think legal are, because we're quite risk averse, we don't really want to be seen to fail. And the third thing, which is the direct opposite of innovation, is the question, well, who else has tried this? And you're like, well, if everyone else has done it, it's not. Innovative. You just labeled every contract <laughs> negotiation I've had with a law firm. <laughs> so there you go. And I get the, you know, constant get this. Okay, we'd quite like to get you, but who else is using that? Mm. We need to be innovative, Karen. But who else has done that? <laughs> it, it, you know, there is a d d parallel there, um, which we need to, you know, we need to take that, that forward. And I am seeing a change. I know it sounds all very <laughs> doom and gloom. I do think it is changing, <clears throat> demonstrated by the investment that firms are now putting in, in teams to, to lead innovation. So that's good. Nick, you've got to come. No, Roger, I, think that, I think that's a really good point. It's this point about, you know, in an, again, I'm going to go back to the, trying to make this, well, the fact there is really no distinction between a law firm and the rest of the world, right? right. You know, uh, lots of organisations have R&D functions or product development <coughs> functions, whatever it might do. Uh, whatever it might have. And, and so we are starting to see law firms announcing R&D projects or incubators or what, whatever it might be. I mean, d different people who have decided what suits them. But that, to me, heralds something a little more interesting. You know, you can't just innovate, right? You know, <coughs> go innovate. Right. It doesn't work like that, right? You know, it happens because you're listening to a situation, you, you're listening to a, 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 a you know, a, a customer uh, provider interface thinking, hmm, you know, the, what they're telling me is that if I could do X, they, they'd be more interested. So I'm going to go and take that over here and we're going to kind of work that up a little bit, you know, maybe not in t you know, with them as well. Right. Lots of org most organizations, you know, your organization is, is geared up to do that. You know, the product development function, product management function, whatever you want to call it, will take some thoughts away and you know, spin something up and then come back and show it. Law firms, you know, that, that innovation has to happen at the, at, the, at the interface, and law firms are just, you know, typically not great at that because that's, the, the, that's, that, that's that interface at which reputation is at stake. And, 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 and you know, this idea of doing something a little different 
brings with it risk, and that's not a great thing in that moment in servicing that client. So they've got to, we've got to sort all that stuff out and make it safe to do things in the right way, I think, as the, the, you know, to see Karen. But I, again, like Karen, I'm a little more optimistic. I mean, I should do because it's kind of my job. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I do see other firms starting to say, hey, you know, let's put some time and energy and effort into this. It's good. It's really that's good. really good. Any comments there, Colin, you don't add? Um, I, I think that I think where firms have innovated and got in early, and I think the success from product development particularly has been evident. I can only speak from personal experience, but where firms have been bold enough to, to try something, I think there is a track record of success. It is difficult. I mean, I think we could also add a few other barriers to innovation a lot on the political side along the lines of it's going to upset him or it's going to upset her. We, you know, we won't do it. And the people barriers to innovation are quite immense, I, I find. But, yeah, I, I wish we could do more. I joke sometimes, it's amazing how many great experiments in law firms were stopped by the one person who still yeah. reads case law in the corner yeah. of the library. So uh, yeah. anyway, it's quite What's a, a, <laughs> what's a library? Exactly. Well, there you go. Yes, exactly. <laughs>